There is one day of early voting left today ahead of Tuesday's election, and voter turnout has been historic not only across the country, but the state and central Texas, too. CBS Austin's Angel Freeman breaks down the voter totals and explains why rural counties are seeing high, higher turnout than big cities like Austin. I'm seeing something that I've never seen before. Williamson County Judge Bill Gravel says he's excited to see more than 50% of registered voters in his county have already cast their votes across two weeks of early voting. The energy and the passion is pretty high. I guess one side or the other, depending where you're at. Williamson County joins other rural central Texas counties like Lano and Mason reaching that 50% threshold. Joshua Blank with the Texas Politics Project at the University of Texas at Austin says this could be happening for several reasons. It's unclear whether that's a particular feature of that this election or whether that's just a reflection of the way Texas has been growing in the last number of years. This is compared to counties like Travis, which the Texas Secretary of State's website shows has seen 41% of registered voters turn out as of Wednesday. In 2016, that number was 49% and 57% in 2020. We know that a lot of people are going to vote on the last day, so this number should go up appreciably. Uh, after the final rounds of early voting. Blank wants to be clear that with more than 377,000 registered voters turning up this year already, the growth in Travis County is still impressive. We're always concerned with the big number, and the big number I think this year is going to be very big. Its growth judge Gravel says he's seen up the polls himself with 69,000 more registered voters in Wilco than in 2020. It's as diverse as it's ever been. It's younger, it appears to me, than it's ever been. Now my wife says I'm I'm just getting older. He says this isn't just good for the county, but the country. Voting is you having the ability to guide your nation. And, you know, not every nation in the world provides the opportunity for free and fair elections. Reporting in Williamson County, Andrew Freeman, CBS Austin News. Big tech and the power they hold is once again in the spotlight. Kelly Gaskins reports. As part of the campaign blitz leading up to election day. All right, we're rolling. Donald Trump sitting down with popular podcaster <laughs> Joe Rogan. We would have never had the attack on Israel at all. Iran was broke. The video topping 41 million views on YouTube and counting. But despite those numbers, many users reported trouble finding the full original interview, leading to accusations of suppression and censorship by Google. The House Judiciary Committee getting involved in what they see as yet another example of big tech attempting to quiet conservative voices. Committee Chair Jim Jordan sending a letter to Alphabet's CEO seeking an immediate briefing on YouTube's decision to censor the Joe Rogan interview with President Trump. YouTube officials posting on X, acknowledging the situation, writing, we know it was frustrating for users, adding, we've worked to resolve this. Joe Rogan sharing his thoughts on his latest episode. There's no way it was a mistake. That's too convenient. But it could have been like some rogue engineer. You know, mm. there's a lot of people that are working behind the scenes. Also this week, House Republicans publishing a new interim report on their investigation into how big tech and the FBI worked together to suppress negative stories about Joe Biden and his family ahead of the 2020 election. At the center, the New York Post article reporting Joe Biden's family sold political access to him for financial gain to foreigners while he served as VP. The Post citing a laptop belonging to Hunter Biden and left at a repair shop as their source. The FBI warning big tech of Russian meddling. The companies then censored the stories. The laptop later proved to be real. Some on the left worry about censorship on X since Elon Musk, a Trump supporter, bought the company. A new Washington Post analysis finding Republicans are going mega viral while Democrats fade away. The Post concluding it's almost impossible, though, to say whether this is the result of an explicit suppression or a change in the attitude of users. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins.